Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Richard's Fabulous Friday Hymns. While we're all in Corona quarantine every Friday, I'll be sharing with you one of my favorites. And this week, the choice is, Oh, Perfect Love, All Human Thought Transcending. The scripture reading that's the basis for this choice for the fifth Sunday of Pentecost is the appointed Old Testament reading, Genesis chapter 24, verses 34 through 67. Since it's a long reading, I will be truncating it somewhat. So he said, I am Abraham's servant. The Lord has greatly blessed my master, and he has become wealthy. He has given him flocks and herds, silver and gold, male and female slaves, camels and donkeys. And Sarah, my master's wife, bore a son to my master when she was old, and he has given him all that he has. My master made me swear, saying, You shall not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, in whose land I live. But you shall go to my father's house, to my kindred, and get a wife for my son. I said to my master, Perhaps the woman will not follow me. But he said to me, the Lord, before whom I walk, will send his angel with you and make your way successful. You shall get a wife for my son from my kindred, from my father's house. Then you will be free from my oath when you come to my kindred. Even if they will not give her to you, you will be free from my oath. Before I had finished speaking in my heart, there was Rebecca coming out with her water jar on her shoulder. And she went down to the spring and drew. I said to her, please let me drink. She quickly let down her jar from her shoulder and said, drink, and I will also water your camels. So I drank, and she also watered the camels. Then I asked her, whose daughter are you? She said, the daughter of Bethuel, Nahor's son, whom Milcah bore to him. So I put the ring on her nose and the bracelets on her arms. Then I bowed my head and worshipped the Lord and blessed the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who had led me by the right way to obtain the daughter of my master's kinsman for his son. Now then, if you will deal loyally and truly with my master, tell me, and if not, tell me, so that I may turn either to the right hand or to the left. Now Isaac had come from Bir Lahoiroi and was settled in the Negev. Isaac went out in the evening to walk in the field, and looking up, he saw camels coming. And Rebekah looked up, and when she saw Isaac, she slipped quickly from the camel and said to the servant, Who is the man over there walking in the field to meet us? The servant said, It is my master. So she took her veil and covered herself. And the servant Isaac told Isaac all the things that he had done. Then Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent. He took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her. So Isaac was comforted after her mother's death. The text of O Perfect Love was written prior to the tune, and the text was written by Dorothy F. Gurney in 1883. Not a large amount of information is known about her, but her grandfather and her father were both Anglican bishops, and she wrote the text of the hymn originally for her sister's wedding, and it was later sung at the wedding of the Duke of Fife to Princess Louise of Wales in 1889. And obviously, O Perfect Love is a commonly sung song at many weddings. The tune of O Perfect Love was written by Joseph Barnby in 1889. He began formal study of music at the Royal Academy of Music in London at age seven, and he accepted his first position as an organist and choir director in 1862 at St. Andrew's Wells Street in London. He was most well known for significantly raising the standards of music at the churches where he worked. His most significant post, though, was as director of the Royal Albert Choral, or rather the Royal Albert Hall Choral Society in 1871, where he succeeded very French famous composer Charles Gounod. 
and Barnby served in this position at Royal Albert Hall in London until his death in 1896, 25 years later. Usually I do a lot of improvisation and creativity with hymns, but this one, being O Perfect Love, is pretty good as it is. O Perfect Love. Looking forward to seeing you again next time when I present another fabulous Friday hymn.